remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel at MDN TV Nigeria. Click on the subscribe button and be the first to get notifications. With two lawsuits challenging the nomination and forthcoming coronation of the 21st Ulu of Wari Kingdom pending in the courts, the August 21st, 2021 date scheduled for the coronation of Prince Sholai Miku as the next Ulu of Wari Kingdom no longer appears sacrosanct. The following report considers options available to feuding parties in the controversy surrounding the Olu of Wari's tool to avert an imminent interregnum in the Wari Kingdom. August 21st, 2021 is the day that has been earmarked for the coronation of Prince Sholai Miko as the 21st Olu of Wari Kingdom. Before this time, all the traditional processes and rites leading to the coronation ceremony have all been successfully performed by Prince Sholai Miko. However, as the Shakiri nation waits anxiously for the coming of the August day of coronation, it now appears that hurdles have been mounted on the path to the coronation with the sole aim of truncating the coronation event. Two lawsuits have already been filed in the law courts to ensure that the August 21st day for coronation is not a reality. The first lawsuit was filed by Prince Oyowoli Emeko, son of the immediate past Olu, who himself wants to be king and has asked the court to compel Chief Airi Emami, the Olubo of Wari, to declare him as the Olu designate. He is joined in his suit by his uncle, Prince Bernard Emiko, who also wants the removal of Prince Sholai Emiko as Olu designate. The second suit, filed by Chief Airi Emami, the Olu Boshere of Wari at the Wari High Court, is challenging his suspension as Olu Boshere, as well as seeking an interlocutory injunction to prevent anyone from crowning Prince Sholai Emiko, or any other person for that matter, as the next Olu of Wari Kingdom, pending the determination of the suit. Chief Airi is asking the court to interpret the 1979 Chieftaincy Edict, which he believes will favor his case. The edict was followed. In the edict that we are talking about today, it is stated clearly that the oracle has the final say. Not any man, not any woman. And, and since the oracle has picked him, we are all with him. Airi's own view, it's his own view. Everybody is entitled to his own view. Chief Ayiri, as an Ishekiri man with full blood of Ishekiri flowing in his vein, he will not want to do such a thing because he knows the traditional implication of such a thing. I will advise that he should immediately take a rethink and withdraw such matter before the matter even comes up. What Ayiri is doing is right. He has never done anything wrong based on his position. Some people think that they can isolate him. It is not possible. With the two cases in court already, is a reconciliation of all aggrieved parties still possible? By the grace of God, everybody is going to be in one boat at the end of the day. Because the Chekiri as a tribe is unique. This is the time we should come together as one to see how we can move the kingdom forward. As a Shekri nation, they should discuss with their brothers and settle their differences amicably. In spite of whatever the outcome may be from the courts, the Shekri nation believes Prince Sholai Miko is already king and cannot be prevented from ascending the throne as he has been pronounced as Ogame, king of Wari Kingdom, upon completion of the Iken rites, the single most important rite for the qualification to the exalted throne of Olu of Wari Kingdom. As the countdown to August 21st continues, most Ishakiris cannot help but wonder if the courts will stop the coronation or Ishakiris will achieve a reconciliation of all aggrieved parties and ensure a hitch-free coronation ceremony. Inside